Hey guys, and welcome to a Fez Air software. Today, I'm gonna to unbox this muzzle flash Spitfire Tracer. So a quick note on safety, if I'm unboxing, shooting down range, doing disassemblies, I always make sure I'm nice and safe. So I've always got eye protection on just in case something happens. Make sure mags are out and empty, and obviously unless I'm doing the shooting. Obviously that's using chrono, and make sure that there's no mag ammunition left in anything as well. So make sure you're doing the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do like and subscribe because you'll be really helping me out. So uh, I've seen the hoo-ha on the internet about these muzzle flash tracer units and decided to get one and uh, waited and see what I thought as well. So this particular one is from Patrol Base and I will put a link down below. So make sure that you go and uh, check that out and have a look. Uh, so unboxing it then, at the front, nice and simple, 14 mil counterclockwise, which is nice to know because just about everything is. Telling you what it's compatible with, it can do up to 35 rounds per second. Um, just standard little bits of information. Obviously imported by uh, Patrol Base there. Uh, so just a little bit of standard information and it's shrunk, shrink wrapped. So let's open this up and have a look inside. I do like a tracer unit and uh, I've recently discovered, hopefully you've probably noticed with the, uh, the recent STG video that uh, the tracer unit makes it a little bit easy to see the range that they're putting out. It's still not perfect, but it's uh, better than it was. So I'm just going to wiggle that loose. Get over that, pull that out. There we go. So that is a tiny little thing. That is barely bigger, I would say, than the uh, Ace Tech. Bear with me. And there it is. Obviously, it's designed to look like one of the uh, Nevesky Fire Pigs. So in terms of the Ace Tech lighter, you're looking... A little tad shorter, but if I compare the sizes, you're looking at a tad thicker, which considering it does the same job, that's pretty damn uh, handy. So let's have a look. There is, there we go. Look. An end that screws off. It is an all metal outer. That's squeaky. There's the, uh, obviously, bulbs at the front to do with the flash. There is the uh, charging part in there, a little bit of something right there, a little bit of a, I guess that's a bit of paint or something, just peel that off and take that out of the way. Hopefully that won't be uh, anything important. And then the rest of the box then, you've just got the foam insert that kept it safe. And we've got a little tiny box that I am absolutely trashing because I've misunderstood how the box opens. There we go. And we've got, hand it, that is a Guessing a 10 mil positive adapter for is that I believe that's um, pistol. You, uh, pistols usually end up with that sort of threading and certain sniper rifles as well. And obviously the front end there screws into the negative uh, thread. Yeah, so we've got a uh, nice neat little package. Let's see if it. Uh, ooh, it might just be enough charging it. Ooh, I'm hoping there might be just enough charge in it. So let's screw that back on and let's see what we can do. So, off to the side here, I've got some Mad Bolt Precision Tracer Rounds, 0.25 grams. So let's turn this on and see what the uh, flash looks like. Ooh, there was a good, for, uh, what I'll do is I'll drop this through and I'll put my hand underneath and let's see what we can do. And I'm going to take it out shortly and get some actual footage. So let's drop that through. So there was definitely... Uh... Oh, there we go. Will it work in reverse? Oh, it does as well. So let's drop a few through there. Get the box in, lid in. BBs are already all over my house. My wife absolutely hates it. But you know what? It's all good. So I'm going to catch these BBs as they're coming through. Let's see what that's... I'm guessing, oh, there we go. That's not bad, actually. That's, uh, obviously, looking straight into it is not convincing at all, and I would never believe that that was a muzzle flash. But actually, I suppose if you're in a darkened environment and you've seen that... I'm guessing, I'm guessing the battery's dying. 
So what I'm going to do is, that's not too bad actually, I'm quite impressed with that. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go and charge it up. I'm going to take it out uh, into a slightly darker environment, possibly the dark because it's already late afternoon, the, the light's nearly gone. And uh, I'm going to test it out and see how it works, turn it off first. And then uh, we'll see some footage of it shooting and then we'll come back and uh, I'll give you some final opinions. Go. <laughs> So following that, I'm going to be very, 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 very honest. I was really sceptical. I just, I didn't see the point. I didn't see the need of it. Uh, and I'm going to be really, really honest. I am a massive convert. This was absolutely brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. Um, the Having the tracers fire out of it, having the muzzle flash as well, just absolutely class. It was really good. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Sneaky was there as well. He sort of... Uh, sort of tagged along and uh, and helped out a little bit we used his tk45 it was putting out about 26 to 28 rounds per second with an upgraded motor and a, a gate titan and this obviously it's rated up to um i forget is it 30 35 rounds per second and it handled that absolutely no problem whatsoever i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed using it i do wish that they would be able to disable the tracer from the muzzle flash so that you could just either have a tracer or the muzzle or both together um but it's not the end of the world just run normal bbs through it and obviously you'll get the muzzle flash off the end uh, i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it possibly a little bit expensive for what they are so to 50 just over 50 pounds um this one obviously i will put a link down to patrol base uh thank you for sending this out so quickly even in the light of all the covid stuff going off um it, it it is a lot a lot of fun and if you think you know not sure on the borderline i just think go for it you know it really makes a difference i can imagine this particularly if you're used to playing in cqb sites that are usually quite dim and dark areas this is going to be a lot of fun to have now obviously tracers work both ways but this just makes it a little bit more fun and a little bit more entertaining so i'm a massive convert i've been really really happy with it so i hope you've enjoyed that uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, i will see you next time bye